On today's show, we talk fashion. What do your clothes say about you? We have a local fashion blogger, we also have a designer, and our in-show stylist. Stay tuned to find out more. I have a very different perspective in uh, looking at things and pretty things. You know, it's, it's a very unique kind of a hobby actually. Because um, fashion is not exactly what I do as a major. But I started a fashion blog. Um, it's a uh, platform for um, individuals or aspiring art artists or talents to ex you know, give them some exposure as well as uh, it's a place for them to express themselves. But I think the most powerful thing is by word of mouth. So anything that I find interesting or a designer that I feel um, they deserve to you know, get some exposure, I go out and start uh, talking to people about it. Ultimate favorite designer is Actually, I really, I really, really love Vivian Westwood. So I, I uh, been following her stuff since I don't know when. It's since I was a child. I, I, I really drawn into her uh, kind of the avant-garde take in fashion, as well as uh, a Japanese designer. His name is Yoji Yamamoto. Vincent, thank you so much for joining us in the studio today. It's a great pleasure to have you here. Thanks for being with us. Well, thank you for inviting me here, Sunday. Wow, so tell us a little bit about your blog. I've been following you for some time, and I know it's a fashion blog and a lifestyle blog as well, and I also understand that you're a socialite here in Calgary as well. Yes, you are. Okay. <laughs> I do see so you get the invites to every event. So tell us a little about the blog and how long you've been blogging. Well, I started the blog about a year and a half ago. Uh, I wouldn't call myself a socialite, but I did get a lot of invitations <laughs> to different social events yes, and fashion did. events in town. Um, I just thought that it would be nice to uh, document some of the stuff that I do um, in the city. And, and the blog is really a platform for uh, aspiring and local designers to express themselves. And hopefully through my blog, I could give them some exposure. Absolutely. Yeah. So what do you, what's your favorite thing to blog about? Favorite thing, well, fashion, because it, it is a fashion blog. Uh, but I find nowadays, I find uh, there's more and more interesting topics when I talk about people. So I go out and um, scout interviews, uh, right find on. people that I find interesting and I thought uh, worth my time to uh, you know, talk about and I just feel the community need to know these people, um, talented artists. Absolutely, and that's also why we have you on the show because I feel that Calgarians should know about you and what you do as well. Thank you. You are also an upcoming, you're, uh, you were awarded something as a new blogger. Well, the blog was nominated as yeah. a Best New Canadian Blog last year. Congratulations. So it did start from last year, but uh, I, I was flattered that uh, there are readers that uh, nominated me and also voted for me. Um, Regardless, it, it, I mean, winning or not, it's just an experience, and I find, Absolutely. you know, as long as you know, people acknowledge what you do, and that would be great. Absolutely. Yeah. So, if people want to get in contact with you or follow your blog post, where can they find you? Well, I mean, the best way is to follow me on Twitter. It's uh, Vincento. Uh -huh. um, it's B I N Z E N T O. So, I usually update my statuses and all my blog posts up there. You can also follow me on Facebook. Uh, yes. Right. I follow you, so everyone <laughs> else should too. Thank All right, you. Vincent, so I understand that you have some fabulous models with us here today. Right, so. That um, you have dressed. Right, so a local boutique in town called SB Experience, they're uh, gracious enough to uh, lend me some of the pieces that I want to pull awesome. a couple looks, or three looks today, for uh, three different models. And uh, the first one uh, we have is uh, Naboya. Uh, she is dressed oh, in wow. a very chic, casual attire. Uh, this is what I call the blogger look. So, I mean, uh, I, I know it's a little bit early for spring, but I find that this style goes well everywhere you go. I mean, we do get Chinook in Calgary once in a while, Yes, right? we do. She looks fabulous, I, very fierce. Right. I love her, uh, the Alcatraz dress, the, the indigo dress, uh, which is really in this season right now, the blue color. And I pull off a uh, studded jean jacket, uh, which added that edginess and grungy look and I love the fact that her hair, um, the stylist today did a wonderful job with her hair, um, pulling that a little bit of messy look just you know, Absolutely, New it's kind of edgy too, right? Right, it's like she's just going down for a coffee <laughs> for a in the morning. For a coffee or a really like, you know, extravagant event too right. with friends and stuff. Yeah, so I, and I love the fact that she, uh, you know, with the accessories and perfect. Wow, and, and up Second next? look is uh, Janelle. Uh, now Janelle is a, a our plus size model today. Uh, what she's always good to have the curvy women in right. there. Thanks, Vince. I appreciate that. Well, curvy women <laughs> can look fabulous. Uh, just depends how you pull out your wardrobe, right? So yeah. um, she's wearing the this the uh, jacket, had a uh, very fine detail embroidery, and I just love the color. It just suits her 
tone very well. It's beautiful. Yeah, if I get Janelle to unbutton her coat and let some people see. So sometimes... Can't wait to see what's underneath there. Right. Oh, wow. Look at that. Right. Although it's a one color tone, so it's, it's in black, but you have that little ribbon that adds to the waistline. So, yes. you know, your focus automatically, you know, focuses on the waistline. It's, and it's all about, for plus size models, it's always about the waistline. Absolutely. So you can pull off that then you look fabulous. Like even for myself too, I really like to do the accessories and you know, definitely bring out the shape. And I see that, you know, Janelle's mm -hmm. shape is really brought out really lovely there. Looking good, Janelle, love it. Yeah, thank you, Janelle. And then finally we have uh, Amrit. And right he's on, our male, our male model, model. So I know Calgary, it's not um, exactly about edginess, but uh, for, I think this, uh, I mean, for guys who want to be a little bit more adventurous. Yes. And, but want to also you know, keep themselves in the more conservative side, you can definitely pull a preppy look. A shirt and jacket never goes wrong, a blazer never goes wrong for guys. Agree, it's agree. It's a classic style for any guy to a party. And I love the bow tie too, and the boots too. Where, where did you get the boots? The boots is also from uh, SB Experience. Um, nice. They have some very nice, the styles are very, uh, very, very helpful pulling out styles for, uh, for uh, their clients. And I do love the fact that he's wearing boots because again like I mean this is you're trying to go for an edgy look I Absolutely. mean go all out and you know the high top boots for guys is always a very very it's a very trendy thing right now actually well they look fabulous you've done a great job can we see all you. the models come out yeah. a little bit here for us so we can take a look at all the styles that Vince put together yeah so I didn't get to mention about Naboya's but and as, as well as Janelle it's all about accessories I think accessorizing yourself really tells the character of uh, who you are your personality and your I, I find that if you find the right accessories to express yourself, I, I, I always go you. for it. Yeah, I agree with you. And anyone can wear this. Like this, these looks can not only just be worn like in springtime. I think these looks are really versatile and right. eclectic. Right. A lot of mixing and matching can also be done as well. Mm -hmm. And the models wear it really well. Yeah, they're perfect. So thank you, Nabilia, Janelle, and Numerous. Thank you very much. We appreciate it, models. Thank you. Vince, you did a great job. Thank you so much for working with our models. You're and welcome, and thank you giving for giving us eclectic again. looks. We appreciate that. We wish you all the best thank with you. your blog and everything that you do fabulous in the city. Thank you so Thanks much for being with us. Um, I have been designing since I graduated from school. So about two years now, I opened um, my company under the name NRT. Um, so 2010. NRT uh, is my initials, so it's Nicole Rita Tomney. Um, I took uh, fashion design in Vancouver at uh, Blanche McDonald College. Really? I kind of do a lot of custom stuff or I can do I do a lot of runway stuff, stuff for music videos, um, pretty extravagant stuff. <laughs> Nicole, thank you so much for being in studio thank with us today. Thank you for having me. Well, it's a pleasure to have you here today. So, Nicole, I've been following your work for some time now and I must say I'm really inspired by what you've done. Thank You're you. 23 thank years you. old. <laughs> you have your own like um, label, NRT mm -hmm. Fashion. Yes a great following on Facebook and Twitter. Mm -hmm. Tell us about how this all started. Um, basically, when I, you know, I went out to school in uh, Vancouver and then I came back to Calgary oh, and I just not. really wanted to start something different and do it on my own and you know, show people kind of, I guess, what's in my mind in fashion. Wow. So I started, uh, started my own company, started the NRT thing and since then it's just been crazy, really crazy actually. Wow, <laughs> very busy with work. Yeah, very busy. Um, the Calgary scene is just really, you know, open arms. Everyone has just taken so well to my stuff and it's been really great. So. Well, I'm a great supporter. So if people are interested in your fashions, which you're going to show us in a little bit here, mm -hmm. where can they find you? Um, basically, I get a lot of my clients off of Facebook, honestly. Um, right Facebook, on. email, um, and I also have an Etsy store. So anything on the internet, you can find me, uh, Facebook, Twitter, um, everything is... NRT Fashions. So if you're looking for nice. me on Etsy, if you're looking for me through email, um, my website as well. Um, and you're on Twitter. I follow you yeah, as well. On Twitter. And everyone else should too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Twitter, NRT Fashions. So uh, yeah, I have a great following and my everyone. Well, right on. Congratulations. I'm really Thank proud you. to witness your success. So tell us about the models that you have in here today for us that are wearing your designs. So first um, is Whitney. Um, so the models are going to be wearing stuff from my Drop Dead collection, which Lovely. is actually current fall season. Um, so she is wearing a leather skirt and jacket, and then the jacket also has um, fake fur, fake black fur on it. Well, it don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's so what fake. I was going for. So expensive with the with the fake fur. I know, right? I um, like and it. yeah, went lots of leather. I'm super like into the leather and stuff right now, and studs and and 
and silver and stuff. So um, yeah, that's what I Whitney's love wearing. the skirt. I love the skirt. Thank you. Thank You're you. rocking it, Whitney. Thanks, Whit. Love it. <laughs> Thanks, Whit. So up next, we got uh, next is Tyler. And he is wearing the drop dead t-shirt, which has been a, a fan absolute favorite. It favorite which is awesome um he's definitely going for the army look here um, very edgy too i love it with the with the army pants and stuff and uh, this is definitely a marilyn manson inspired <laughs> outfit here so um, i like yeah that's what tyler has thank you tyler and next is bronwyn She's oh, also cute. rocking some Drop Dead uh, logo on the side there. So the camo is super in this season for, for the fall and stuff. So I went with, with camo and then she has uh, some leather shorts on as well. Lovely. And I like the zebra print that you have on there as well. I think that's kind of unique. Yeah, too. I went for something different. So <laughs> It is. Everything you do is different and unique. Yeah. And I love it. Very Thank eclectic. You. So if all the models want to come out together. Yeah, let's take a look at all three of you guys. So there you have it, NRT Fashions. Lovely. And great models, too. Thank you so much, models, Thanks, for being with us. Nicole, we wish you all the best. Thank you so and much. great work here in Calgary, and I know you're going to flourish and do great Thank things Thank you very in much. City. Thank you for having me. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Adora on I'm the makeup artist and stylist on the Sunday Omni Show, and today I'm here with Amrit. He's a local model that I'm going to be working with. We're going to give you some tips for dressing for success. So when you drop off your resume, you can get that interview. And when you go to your interview, you can get that job. Yes, please. <laughs> Fantastic. We're going to go shop in your closet and see what you have. All right. Thank you. When you want to dress to be professional, yeah. you kind of want to reflect your personality a little bit. Yes. So a tip that I would give someone is pick your favorite color. It's going to make you feel good about yourself. Yeah. And it's going to give people a little piece of who you are. I'm here with Janelle Royal. So this is kind of the I'm going for drinks or I'm going to go have so a night out. So not appropriate dances. for an interview. Not great for an interview, okay. Janelle. Okay. You look fantastic. Thank you. Let's see what you have. There's some dresses here. Oh, this is a fantastic staple. A little sheath dress. Or here's a nice vest we could put with that. Very appropriate. This is a very pretty dress. Uh, the colors are great for spring. These definitely go together. Okay. Everything doesn't have to specifically match, but they do need to be in like the same similar maybe family. Okay. The first 30 seconds is to present a nice picture, something that looks good. However, if there's no personality behind that, there's no success. Adora, thank you so much for being here with us and joining us in the studio. Thank you for asking me to be here. It's a pleasure. I mean, you're always here with us. You are on set stylist and you also drew us dressed me today too. <laughs> I am here to try and make people look pretty all the time. And you do. And you do, Adora. Thank you do you. a great job for our team here. We you appreciate you. make it easy. The guests here make it easy. I am so happy that we got this dress for you. Oh, well, yeah. De Chanel, right? De Chanel. You always know my size and you they, always know what looks fabulous on me, Adora. Listen, they have so much stuff that's out there. There's lots of stuff for the full figure girl, the short girl, the tall girl. Absolutely. You just got to look. Absolutely. So I'm the stylist for the show here, but I'm also a stylist on movie sets, yes. TV, whatever is going on. I'm styling it. I do regular, like you would say, average people. So people in the corporate world. So if they want to get in contact with you and they want you to look through their cl closet and find them the best outfit for whatever occasion that's going on, they can just get a hold of you they for that They can get too. a hold of me. Adora Wolfor. I'm going to spell that. Oh, okay. Please do for some of the guests that can't. <laughs> Adora, it's like it's adorable. Classic. Yes. And Wolfor is N like Norman, W William, O Oscar, F Frank, O Oscar, R Robert. Right on. Also the list of the gentleman who tried to pick me up last week. Oh, sweet. You got jokes too. Right. So, <laughs> well, Adora, we're, we're good friends outside the show. Yes. And we had actually a great conversation regarding um, what we discovered with young people. And um, we were talking and we were, we came up that, um, we were talking about dressing for success and how perhaps, you know, some young people struggle or are not sure with what to wear from inside their closet when they're dropping off their resumes or headed to a job interview. You know, I used to work corporate and some of the outfits that showed up, you know, that like the first 30 seconds is what you judge the person Absolutely. on. Absolutely. And you want someone to judge you on your resume or what you're saying, your merit. 
So if you're going to wear your best outfit and your best outfit is your outfit for going to the bar, you can't wear that. I agree with to that. Go and I've seen that too. Yeah. And that or gentlemen, damage. like the construction boots and the jeans. <laughs> the construction boots. That's, I mean, it's, it's, it's just. Happening. It's doesn't, happening. It doesn't look great. Or the party dress. Yep. Right? Not really appropriate for dropping off resumes. But I'm telling you, everybody has in their closet what they can wear to go and dress for success, to get a better job, to have a better opportunity. So I got some models. Absolutely. And we went to their homes and I That's picked right. out their outfits from their closets, what they already owned for not one cent. Who likes free? I love free. Everybody I'm a big loves supporter of free. free. Yes. But sometimes what we struggle with is knowing what we can also put together. So you met with the models in their home, our young models that are, and that are looking for jobs right now or perhaps in the corporate world and dress them for success. Dress them for success. We're going to focus a little more on spring uh, because I know that yeah. during the spring we're all done school. Yeah. Some of us have been done longer than others. <laughs> and we want to get a job. Yeah. So. We're going to go over to our models now and Absolutely. take a look at what they're wearing. Amrit, thank you for joining us. I went to Amrit's home. He's a fantastic guy at uh, Mount Royal University, and we went straight into his closet. And he owns, I mean, just one more time, if you could just say this for the record, he, this is all his clothes from his closet that you put together. I didn't buy one thing. Wow. He did not buy <laughs> one thing. So we gave Amrit a lighter suit. Um, and it's just two pieces that he had in his closet. It's a chino it looks and then awesome. a dress jacket. So, gentlemen, it doesn't have to be black. It doesn't have to be navy. It yeah. doesn't have to be pinstripe. Let's have some fun with our fashion. Absolutely. And I'm one of those people that always thinks when I'm going to a job interview or dropping off resumes, black and white. No, it doesn't I have know, to be right? black and white. If that's what you've got, that's what you wear. Sure, but I'm all in black okay, today. Right? Red shoes. Some, sometimes you want to show your personality right at the beginning. Absolutely. And this uh, bright shirt shows that he's ready to take some chances. It is also springtime, so you don't want to be in black and the sun is beating down on you in Calgary. I know. It doesn't happen <laughs> often, but when it does, you want to look cool. We also gave him a tie. Skinny ties are back in. He yeah. already had this in his closet. He never thought to put these pieces together. But, wow. I mean, it, it all works. Well, so, he's definitely dressed for success. Gentlemen, let me give you some don'ts. <laughs> don't let your shirt hang out in the front and don't be disheveled. Try and iron your clothes ahead of time. I agree. Uh, when you're wearing your pants, don't let them drag on the ground. Let's sneakers are for working out. <laughs> don't let them drag on the ground. I love yeah. that. That's true though. That's true. We got some youth yeah. out there with the pants the, on the ground. The baggy pants are are fun. However, <laughs> we nobody wants to see your briefs when you're going to Absolutely, the I agree. Job. Amrit, thank you so much. Looking great and you're definitely dressed for success. Yeah. So up next, we got your next model here. My next model is Janelle beautiful young lady she is and we went into her closet i had so much fun at her place she looks fabulous janelle has so much stuff i i think i need to shop for myself in her closet oh really yeah <laughs> but she had some pieces she had some difficulty putting together stuff as well we chose this print dress uh it does have a little bit of color in it i and like then it we decided to play it up for the past few seasons, we've been seeing color blocking and brights and that sort of thing. Yes. It's coming back again, spring 2013. And this bright jacket she had in her closet. And I said, why don't you put the jacket over the dress? Because sometimes and the works, dress. And it really works. Yeah, sometimes just a dress is not enough for the office. Absolutely. You put it on a jacket. If you want to go for, you know, a drink with the boss because you've Absolutely. got that job. After work, After yes. work, you can just take off the jacket. We gave her little pops of green to show some fun. I like the belt as well, and the skinny belt too. Skinny belt. Yeah. Which, curvy girls, let it be known if it's the right piece for you. It doesn't matter if it's the big or the skinny. Sometimes rules are made to be broken. I agree with you. She looked fantastic. We put a nude shoe because nude works with everything. And we just let her be herself because this is what she actually owns. This is what she picked out. This is what she likes to have. 
So ladies, wow. a couple of don'ts. Yes, tell us about that. If your bra strap is thicker than your shirt strap, take it to the barn, <laughs> not to work, uh, or cover it up. Remember that fashion is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to show Absolutely. who you are a little Absolutely. bit. So sometimes the pieces that you have, think out of the box. Try them on, you know, take one minute, uh, 30 minutes, maybe the night before and try on a few pieces. I agree. You can wear a little bit over your knee, uh, down to your knee. Corporate usually likes to see hosiery in the fall and winter, mm -hmm. but in the summertime, you know, depending on where you work, you don't have to wear hose. I agree with you. And I think one thing I like too, is you could still look young and fresh and be corporate and professional at the same time. So I really appreciate what you've done with both models. If we can exactly. please get them both together, just so we can see what Adora has put together here. And these are our young models dressed for success. Guys, we wish you all the best. Thank you for being here with us. Adora, we appreciate you putting together these looks. I know we had that conversation. I felt like we had to address this on the show. And it's such a vital topic. Honestly, I had so much fun. And I know that today's youth are going to get the jobs. They're going to be successful. Now Amen they have a little that. piece. If you want to find me, I'm on Facebook, Adora yes. Wolfor. Or you can find me on Twitter. Yes. Uh, that name is Statues. You can find it from my Facebook. And they can also connect with you on our show page as well. So of if anybody course. wants to get a hold of Dora, feel free to contact her on our show page. I am always here. Adora, thank you so much. We appreciate everything that you do on the show for us. All the best. Love it. Thank you for watching our show. We also want to give a big thanks to our guests that were with us today. If you want to stay in contact with us, visit us on our website and be sure to follow us on Twitter.